Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today we are going to check out a bunch of different microphones that you can use with your iPhone when you're vlogging. So we're gonna find out which one sounds the best with your iPhone just using the standard camera app. We're gonna try them out, test them out, see how they go, and here we go. All right, let's take a look at some of the microphones we're going to review here. So I did a previous video where I was comparing the Rode uh, Video Mic Me L. That is a lightning connected microphone here along with the uh, Shure MV88, also a lightning connected microphone. I was comparing these two and it had people asking questions about what some of the other microphones out there sound like using the iPhone. So we're gonna try out today the Ceramonic Blink 500. This is a wireless microphone system that has a lightning receiver, so we're gonna check that out. We're also going to check out the Rode Wireless Go system. We're gonna to have to use a adapter to get this to work, but we're gonna try this one out as well. And we're going to try out the Editage EIM001 microphone. This one we're going to also use with a lightning adapter. We're going to uh, use also the Ceramonic CVM VS07 microphone here. This one is also going to require an adapter. And finally, last but not least, we're going to try the Rode Video Micro uh, and see what this one sounds like. So yeah, we'll just start popping them on and we'll see what they sound like and, uh, and try them out. And I'm gonna use my phone here. I usually just, uh, when I vlog, I have a handle on here. I just hold it out arm's length. And so that's the way I'm gonna hold it out and just test it out and see what each microphone sounds like from arm's, arm's length away. All right, so here is just a quick sample of what the audio sounds like using the built-in microphones of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And so the, these are the microphones. This is what you can expect with just the audio quality coming straight out of your phones, cameras, and microphones. So let's go ahead now and we'll start off with the uh, Rode Video Mic Me L, the lightning connected, and then we'll move on to something else. So let's try this one on and see how it sounds. All right, so I'm now using the Rode Video Mic Me L. This is the Rode Video Mic Me L, and I'm holding it just about arm's length apart here. And uh, one thing I had to do immediately was take the case off of my phone, and that's something I just do not like to do. When I was trying to get it seated properly, it just wouldn't seat properly. It kept popping off, or I couldn't get it to actually fully connect. So I actually had to take the case off. And this case is relatively thin. It even has a cutout here so that um, you can access the ports on the bottom easily. And for whatever reason, the microphone wouldn't sit right. So that's a big problem for me because I don't like having to uh, take my case off and go with a naked phone. But this is what you can expect with the sound quality of the Rode Video Mic Me L. And it's hooked directly up to my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm not doing any audio adjustments. This audio is straight out of the camera. All right, so now I'm recording with the Shure MV88 microphone plugged directly into my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And this microphone is really nice. It's small and it's, there's a lot of adjustments and settings that you can make within the app. And then the, all those settings are saved to the microphone itself. So if you move the microphone from one device to another, it actually sends those settings with the microphone over to the new device. So it's really nice in that way. So even if you save all of your settings in the app and then open it in a new app, it's still gonna sound the same. Now. One thing that I don't like about this microphone is that you have to make sure you put your phone in airplane mode because otherwise you'll get all kinds of interference noise and this microphone is really prone to interference just in general. So yeah, that's something to be concerned about and I have messed up plenty of recordings because I started to record and then forgot that I didn't put it in airplane mode and just messed something up that I couldn't replace or I had to go over and do it again. So. And anyhow, this is a sample of the Shure MV88 microphone plugged directly into the iPhone 11 Pro Max. All right, so now I am recording with the Ceramonic Blink 500 system and I have the receiver plugged directly into the lightning port of my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now this is one of my favorite setups for the iPhone when I'm vlogging because it is so compact. The way that the receiver connects to the lightning port and how flush it is with the camera just makes this really, really compact and discreet. If you're out there, it doesn't look like you have a big old microphone hooked up to this. It just doesn't look like anything. It just looks like your phone and you're just holding it and just recording 
and right now I actually have the transmitter with the microphone hidden underneath my sweatshirt so that you can't even see it. So this is a really nice setup. It's discreet. It sounds good. It's, uh, you know, it's just a nice way to do it. It's a little expensive, but another nice thing about this is too, with the transmitter, you can actually hook up a lavalier microphone to it. So you can, uh, you can even put it in somewhere else so that if you need to adjust the microphone positioning, you can do that as well. So yeah, this is a really nice, uh, a really nice thing. And also with this receiver, you can actually hook up two transmitters. So if you're doing a, uh, an interview or something, or you have two people that you want to mic up, you can actually mic up two people by having two transmitters uh, hooked up to the receiver at the same time. So anyhow, this is the Blink, the Ceremonic Blink 500 wireless microphone system hooked up to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. All right, so that was all of the lightning connected microphones. Those were all the lightning connected microphones. So we had the Ceremonic Blink 500, the Shure MV88, and the Rode Video Mic Me uh, L. And we're going to switch over now and go try some of the uh, other microphones that need a lightning adapter. All right, so I tested all of my lightning connected microphones. Now I have uh, my non lightning connected microphones that I'm using an adapter for. So let's go ahead and try them out. And the first one we're going to try here is the Rode Wireless Go microphone. And so this is the Rode Wireless Go right here. And so this is what it sounds like. It is hooked up using a uh, lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter on the uh, with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And yeah, the media, the the, uh, the audio gain levels are set to medium. The Rode Wireless Go has a high, medium, and low. And so it's set to medium. And this is just the audio straight out of the camera. And this is what you can expect. So this is a nice way that you can actually have a wireless audio, um, you know, if you wanted a wireless setup here. Now, I don't think this uh, this method is quite, is quite as elegant as the Ceremonic because you do need an adapter. You don't have the, uh, the lightning connected receiver like you do with the Ceremonic. So you're gonna have cables running all through here. And so I have cables on here. I have it taped up to the uh, up to the, the cell phone holder and then there's the adapter. And so, yeah, it's just not as nice looking and not as elegant. And every time you have a cable or adapter, it's another point of failure that you have to worry about. So, but it does work and it does sound good. So anyhow, this is the Rode Wireless Go wireless microphone system hooked up to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. All right, so now I am using the Editage EIM-001, and this is it right here. This is the Editage EIM-001 microphone plugged in. I do have an adapter on there, so I'm using the Apple uh, 3.5 millimeter audio adapter uh, to lightning connector. So yeah, this is what it sounds like when the microphone is plugged into there. Now I do have another little adapter that sort of holds the cable in place, so it's not really anything that, that's electronic. It just holds the cable in, in place and allows you to put the microphone on there and have it point in the direction that you want it. So it's really kind of nice so that you don't have the microphone just sort of dangling about next to your phone. So. But this is the Editage EIM-001 microphone. This is an omnidirectional microphone. And this is one of my favorite microphones. I really like the way this mic sounds. It's deep and warm and rich. The problem with this microphone is, is that it's very, very hot. So it can really just be, just can cause your audio to peak a lot if you're in a very loud situation or around loud noises. So yeah, just be aware of that. But this is the Editage EIM-001 plugged into my iPhone 11 Pro Max and zero adjustments are made just straight out of the camera. All right, so the last microphone that we're going to test here is the Comica CVM VS07 microphone. And let's switch over to that microphone right now. And so here we are. The microphone is plugged right into my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And this is what it sounds like. Now I am using an adapter. This microphone actually does have the correct three prongs or uh, three rings on it so that you can use it with a mobile phone. However, because the iPhone does not have a headphone jack, you can't actually use this microphone without an adapter. So 
I'm using the Apple 3.5 millimeter lightning connector adapter so that I can actually hook this up to my phone. So the nice thing about it is it's very compact. It's very easy to just throw in your pocket with the adapter. Both this, uh, this microphone with the adapter and the Editage are both very, very small and compact. And if you toss them in your pocket, you can forget, to, forget they're even there because they're so small and lightweight but they're always easy to carry with you. So, but this is what you can expect from the sound quality plugged directly into the iPhone 11 Pro Max using the standard uh, camera app and no adjustments made after the fact, just straight out of the camera. So again, this is the Comica CVM VS07 microphone. So I almost forgot, well, one of the most popular microphones out there, and I can't forget that, and that is the Rode Video Micro. So I have it hooked up to my, uh, to my phone. Let's go ahead and switch over to the, to the uh, phone's camera and listen to the microphone. All right, so here we are. We are now on my iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I am using the, uh, the Rode Video Micro hooked up and this is plugged in using an adapter cable. So again, because this microphone is, uh, is used, has a headphone jack adapter that you use with it, well, you're gonna have to use a lightning uh, to 3.5 millimeter adapter so that you can plug it into your iPhone since the iPhone doesn't have a headphone jack. So this is the Rode Video Micro and this is a very popular shotgun mic. It's a very directional mic. So yeah, I'm curious to know what you think about it, what this sounds like in comparison to the other microphones. And uh, yeah, I mean, we tested a lot of them. We got some, some wireless microphones. We have some, uh, you know, some shotgun microphones. We have some, uh, some omnidirectional microphones. We had a little bit of everything today. So yeah, I'm curious to know what you think about this one too. This one is the Rode Video Micro and this is plugged directly into the iPhone 11 Pro Max. All right, so there you have it. That is a look at a bunch of microphones and a listen as well to a bunch of different microphones that you can use with your iPhone. I'm using the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but you can use these microphones with pretty much any iPhone out there. In fact, some microphones may be easier to use with some of the older iPhones that actually have headphone jacks because you can plug directly in without needing an adapter. So there is that. So anyhow, if you also, if you heard a crackling noise during the course of this video, it's not the microphones themselves. Apparently there's an issue with my phone. I just got pushed an update from Apple right before I did this review. And you should probably never do a review right after you do an update because you don't have time to test it. And so I noticed there was sort of a crackling noise happening and it's not the microphones, it's actually the camera itself or the phone itself. So yeah, I'm gonna have to have my phone looked at after they open their stores back up. So anyhow, I'm gonna leave links to all these microphones down below in the video description so that you can check them out and pick them up if you're interested. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page so you can see all the products that I reviewed over time. And I'll leave links to all my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere if you wanna say hello and leave me a comment. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.